Right, I just thought of something. The the pattern being six days, six days in between the events, from April twenty seventh, all these uh, events happening, which is either significant on mainstream, dominating the news, or on the, on social media where it's yeah you know, it's you think it's no big deal. Because it's not on the mainstream, but that's that's planned and designed that way. So on the 27th, the shooting um, over in the church, San Diego, dominating the news. Six days before that, 421, the mosque, the bombing, ISIS, claim responsibility, white supremacist, ISIS on the 21st. And then six days before that is the fire. The Notre Dame Church. Now, when you go seven days before that, well, on on the eighth is when Trump announced that Iran, you know, the one that's going to be dropping bombs that already has, that they are a bunch of terrorists. So that's a big time punch in the face. And then seven days before that was, well, it was April Fool's. And, uh, and seven days before that was three, two, four. At the end of three, two, one, three, two, two, three, two, four, three, two, one is when the, you know, S SGD was announced as the Messiah code, code talk on on the mainstream uh it was rabbi fish right he announced that before march 21st that a holiday or something that the messiah would be announced and that's what they did um and then uh so that's well anyway that's that was the beginning and then um that entire weekend and then from the 24th on well, that's when it starts to be the sevens. So I don't know if anything really significant happened on the 24th of March or April 1st, besides it being April Fool's Day. Uh, so you have the 27th, all right? Now, start with the countdown, the 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 countdown. Um, you, we're, we're at five now. Because the numbers, well, they don't lie. Because from April 27th to, well, I don't have it written on this board, but I'm going to have to go buy a new board. Because I don't want to really erase it. It's something I can look back on uh, if I can see clear. So you have the five days from April 27th is the announcement of, uh, you know, the beginning of World War III, May 2nd, the mouthpiece, the main mouthpiece, Christopher Green. I'll give him credit, you know. I mean, you're, you are a plug, but, you know, I'll give you credit for uh, giving the information. You know, I, I do appreciate I do get good, uh, well, I get good information from you. I mean, to say the least. Uh, but it's what you do with the information. You can have much knowledge. You can have you can know everybody on YouTube, but when you don't apply the knowledge, right, Christopher? If you don't apply the knowledge that you're given, well, then you're wasting it. So I'm just applying the knowledge that I'm given. And as soon as I finished recording the last video, I said, oh, crap, it's five days. And the next event is uh, May 11th because it's, the third, fifth day event in a row. This was the third, sixth day event in a row. The three, six days pattern already took place. You've seen what happened on the news. And so because the reasoning for World War Three is the same thing as, you know, June 28th, 1914, when, uh, they got assassinated. That was the reason for World War III starting, but that wasn't the exact day. 
that World War III began and was declared, but that was the reason for it. So the reason for it is uh, May 2nd. Um, for whatever reason it is, it's that he said, I kind of forget. But anyway, it's not important. The important thing is that it's a reason why World War III will be declared in the, in the near distant future. So you have five days from April 27th to, uh, to the declaration or the beginning of what's going to cause World War III, May 2nd. And then five days after that, which is the third, fifth day event that's going to be very significant in the world, whether it changes laws or you see it on the news, it's either a news dominating event or it's a change of the law or something that Trump signs or says or calls people terrorists or punches people in the face, whatever it is, that's what it is. And then, so five days from that World War III reason is uh, the shooting. And, um, and here's the thing about the school. The school that was shot up by, uh, well, I didn't say it yet, at least I don't know, but by a transgender. And um, one way or another, whether it's a boy that wants to be a, a dude or a dude that wants to be a, a girl. Either way, it's, that's what the uh, reference is going to be. In all likelihood, they're just actors anyway, and they're not even, you know, anything that they say. So, but it's just a uh, skit. So the skit is, uh, that happened five days after the World War III reasoning, and then five more days from that point is May 11th. Now, I have here May 12th, and so far, so far, okay, I am one day too late. I got to put an end to that because I just said in the video May 12th. Now, and then I have here 5-8. Well, 5-7 was the actual shooting at the school, which was the major news dominating event. And then the third I have here, it was actually May 2nd, which was the declaration of war. So I was a day too late. I don't want to be a day late this time. So I'm going with May 11th, the next news dominating event. And then, then it's the countdown of fours. It'll be four days in between three events. So if you got the 11th and then four days, well, you got, you got the, the 15th, which is very, very significant. I, I think that date there is very important. Very. So that's four days after that. And then the 19th, um, which would be the next fourth day event. So from the 11th to the 15th and 15th to the 19th. And then it begins the three day events. So from the 19th, three days. Uh, you know, 22, and then three more days, 25, and then three more days, 28, and then two days, 30, and then the first, and then the, uh, I'm probably getting it wrong because I'm, I feel like I just confused myself. But either way, the point is, here's the countdown. 7, 6, 5, for 3, 2, 1, it's, it's three events at one. Uh, it's three events in between the countdown of the pattern, the seven-day pattern, six-day pattern, five-day pattern, four-day pattern. Three day to one, and I'm because I'm a day late. I can't. I got to stop that now. That's fine, Christopher Green. You got me on this one. All right. You got May second, the declaration. I said May third. You got May seventh, the shooting. You called it 24 to 48 hours. I'm going to give you a thumbs up for that one and like that video for sure. And um, so I'm not going to be a day late on this one. I am changing my my prediction to May 11th. And well, let's see. what What is left? What's left is the bombing of a mosque. The one in Jerusalem sounds like a good one. It really does. The, goal, the one, I forget what sub it was that said that in the comment section but i'm going to give that sub credit because i'm starting to lean in that direction the one in jerusalem with the gold thing tip there that they want to knock down and 
build the third temple or something, something like that. Yeah, that's a good target. And then, um, is that a mosque? I'm not even sure. But, and then you have uh, that mosque over in, in uh, Iran. You still got that one. I don't know the name of it, but it's in Iran. And it's one of the most famous ones. So I'm going to go with that. And we still need, um, we still need the, no, wait, the Vatican, the Pope. We need the, we need St. Peter's to be, um, bombed, fire. Because the Pope still needs to die for a few days. And so I, I'm, I'm kind of leaning in this direction where that might be. That, yeah, because I think this one here, May 18th, is the St. Peter's, the Pope. Because that's the Trump card. And then the 21st, you know, is, is a. The winters will be abated and you know, he can come back to life and all of a sudden all hell breaks loose. That's kind of where I'm getting at. Um, so somewhere before that, well here, the 15th. Oh wait, we only have, well hey we have the 11th. Man, this is, we're like right there. So I have the 11th which is next event and then the 15th. And then, so I only have, well I'm going to have to pick and choose which one, what mosque. I think on the 15th would be a good idea to, to bomb the mosque over in Jerusalem because it's the anniversary. And then I think on the 11th would be a good, it'd be a good idea to, to roll that script out and have like Iran's mosque being blown up or something like that, right? Tit for tat, Iran's mosque and then Jerusalem's mosque and then, and then the Vatican, that great city, for one hour will be destroyed. And then, um, and then three and a half days later, the Antichrist is going to rise up and he's going to be worshipped and, uh, and live happily ever after.